Hello, I'm the Red Monk. Today we're going to look at some uh, cool monk kicks, alright? We got the jumping roundhouse kick. This one's called the heel kick. And this last one's called the upwards kick. Oh shit, what, what do we got here? Oh yeah, that's the target. I'm kicking a foot massager. Um, a pillow hanging from a ceiling, a tall punching bag. It would all work. But just something that's head height and waist height, right? And if you got that, you're good to go. You gotta stretch my guy, right? Alright, I had to get your legs up high to on your hamstrings. So maybe you see people do this, just that stretch. Alright, that's the first kick, that's the heel kick, right? It's just a uh, cross and uncross. Keep your uh, shoulder towards the target and kick with your leg under the shoulder, the closest. And um, cross and uncross. And this tick trick kick especially right it's a uh, tough to get up that high so we start with a low target it might be easier like you can just knock it out of the park with a low target <laughs> yeah you want to hit with the bottom of your heel it's called the heel kick um and yeah just kick that motherfucker uh next one my favorite the jumping roundhouse all right this it's like chuck norris man you gotta note how quickly the motion is. Movements that use the entire body are often quick, fluid, and require follow-through motion, and just as this kick. I like to twirl into the motion. This has more of your body into it, but this kick can be done from a standing position. If you use whether your right or left leg for the heel, use the same for the roundhouse. Spin in the opposite direction of the heel, as this kick uses the front of your foot instead of the back of the heel. Focus on the motion you follow through with, but not landing on your feet. That'll come along the way. Don't sacrifice a motion for a good landing. A good motion makes a good landing. A good landing does not make a good motion. See some landings right here? So you land on your back until you get the landing right. <sighs> Shit, where are we now? Oh, should we get the upwards kick? I invented this for myself. It's an ace card, right? I mean, who would expect such a move, right? This kick uses the opposite foot as the others. This is the opposite foot on top. Other than the hand supporting you is on the bottom. I use my left foot to kick in right hand to support. If you do the opposite, do the opposite. Left, right, wise. By the following description. Approach from the left. Put your right hand on the left and tuck in as you swing to the right. The entire motion is determined by the approach. You should be right before the target before you untuck. Retuck before you let him pop up. This kick is not especially powerful, but unexpected. You sort of gotta. It's interesting to block an attack from the bottom. Especially if you get good enough, you can go for the chin. You can do a roll, as it's seen here, and roll into it all in one motion, of course. Yeah, this kick looks really cool. Like, seriously, check it out. It's a really great way to close the distance if you roll into it. Unexpected as well. Oh shit. So we got our roundhouse kick, jumping roundhouse. The heel kick. And lastly, we got our upwards kick. Well, please uh, scribble. It will be another sweet video out next week. Uh, don't attack anyone with kicks, my guy. Uh, bye now.